Uh, Shalom, I'm Akim, your brother Raza Allah, GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, for Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and others, a great millstone. And salutations to sincere Akim, hopeful we'll let around the four winds waiting to be delivered by our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Very soon, man, very, very soon. Lord willing, the mid or end of this year, going into next year. If you're even here, well, by the looks of the things and the way things are going now, throughout the media, these different war campaigns going on, rumours of wars, um, it looks the sooner the better anyway, man, the sooner the better. It's looking feasible this year. Um, just a quick upload situation in Venezuela, because there's all kind of hell and turmoil going on around the earth. You know, all hell's breaking loose around the globe, man, daily, man. Um, scripture says the Lord bringeth his judgment to light every every morning. So things are things are percolating, man. Things are cracking around the earth, man. Especially places like Venezuela. You know, give the latest updates in that situation. You got the General Motors situation. GM, which just fired two thousand seven hundred um, Venezuelan employees, man. Gave them their severance pay and told them to be on their way. And they said, and you know, this is the most. Um, uh, the latest news, apart from the other article I'm going to read in a minute, but it's just showing you that the scriptures are speaking loud and clearly, man. For the for the blind out there, for the lost sheep, they don't want to adhere to this these warnings, man. The Lord's about to pour off pure hell, pure mass hell and judgment on this earth, man, like never before. As it, like it says in Daniel's the twelfth chapter, man. It's going to be a time like never before on the earth, man. That shit is just percolating. The pot's over boiling right now. And it's it's about to get it's about to get beef stewy out here, man. This is Reuters from Reuters dot com. Um, it says a uh, Venezuelan subsidiary has sent a message to almost two thousand seven hundred staff, informing them that they are no longer employed in it by the company, and had received severance pay in their bank accounts, according to two employees. It says the Venezuelan court last week ordered a seizure of the company's Valencia plant, ruling that favor two elders. Two dealers, Salakia, that had um, filled the case of 2000 against the subsidiary grounds, um, they had not compiled with an agreed sale of 10,000 vehicles. Since workers say that before the seizure was announced, GM had been dismantling the plant, which had been produced, uh, which had not, which has not produced a car since the beginning of 2016. This is because of the shortages of parts and strict currency controls in the OPEC nation. It says the seizure of the GM called, the seizure which GM called illegal, comes amid a this this deepening economic and social crisis, in leftist, leftist led Venezuela, um, that has already rolled many U.S. um, roiled many U.S. companies. And then people was receiving a text and email and all that, saying that you know basically they're out of a job. And apparently this company's been down there in Venezuela, one of the major companies down there for like 35 years. So that people are going to suffer harshly out there, man. The people are going to suffer out there, man. And the shit's just getting worse and worse out there. As it says here, it says, show your face. It says the leftist governor, of Nick, Nicolas Maduro, says it's not seeking to expropriate expo- expo- like yeah, the plant, it says um, which has been operating for 35 years. And has called GM, called on GM to come back. So you know, just like the fall of the ancient Roman Empire, things was happening, man. The the the, the, the um, infrastructure and all that was falling apart, man. You know, I was just recently watching the, the Roman Empire documentary on Netflix, talking about Commodus and uh, Marcus Aurelius and that that time period when Rome was just about to fall, man. Always setting up themselves for a great fool, man. And what was they trying to do? Set bread and circuses um, with um, coliseums and all that stuff to keep the people amused, man. While all hell was breaking loose, man. And all hell was breaking loose right now, man. You know, people are still bemused by the lights and the glitz and the glamour of so called the Americas, man, thinking that that's the land of the free, you know, and, any, and you can make it anywhere in America. When all hell was breaking loose around the four winds, man. That's associated with America, man, with that damn dollar, man. That petrol dollar, man, that piece of shit. Currency that's just dwindling and falling apart. 
and um, you know, it's falling from the hinges, man, that corrupt, um, cankered, as the scriptures say, cankered gold and silver, man. You know, um, so yeah, man, Venezuela's getting it, man. Them Jakes down there are part of the tribes of the um, Southern Kingdom, um, Northern Kingdom, Slakia. They're, they're catching hell out there, man. And it's only going to get worse, man. It's going to come up to the shores of America very soon. Very, very soon, man. The Lord ain't playing. This is another article talking about the Venezuelan protests and all that, riots. This is Venezuela. Death toll rises to unrest as unrest in its fourth week. So, you know, things are just getting crazy. Things ain't going to be a so-called normal anymore, man, which people think they are because they can go shopping every weekend and all that. Them days are soon going to be over, man. Once the economy crashes, world global economy, and the Great Depression is going to be like no other depression as before, you people you people ain't going to be living normal lives no more, man. That dystopian state, total totalitarian state, is going to be in um, enacted, man. With the fuel, with that the martial law troops, that war type law, and these devils are going to institute the mark of the beast, man, which is the RFID chip system, and make it mandatory, man. You know, everyone in the globe is going to have to take part in in, in that chip system, man. And if you don't, you're going to be labelled as enemy combatants, and you're going to be put off the grid or executed, man. You know. So these things, everything's going to change, man. It only takes a few major false flag events to make everything change overnight, man, which which you can see just happening over here. These are just precursors to what's going to happen to America and in the UK, man, because London, or, or England, should I say, is the mother of America, man. So the, the Lord's saving the best for last. So America and the UK are going to get hit the hardest, man, like never before. And people ain't going to be expecting it, man, because they're, they're simple, man, and they're... Um, they're impudent, and they, um, you know, they look, look, they're not looking for these signs, man. It says, gunman killed two more people during political unrest in Venezuela on Monday. It says, bringing the total death number to, to 12 this month as anti-government protests entered a fourth week with mass sittings to press for early elections. This is a 42-year-old man. This is the main part I want to bring out in this article. A 42-year-old man that who worked for local government in the Andean state of Madeira died from a gunshot in the neck at a rally in favour for President Nicolas Maduro's government. So the state ombudsman and prosecutor's officer said. So another 50-year-old um, old man was shot dead in the chest during a protest in the Western agricultural state of Baroness um, says the state prosecutor's office added without specifying the circumstances. So all hell is breaking loose, man. And the point I wanted to bring out there from the 42-year-old, the government official, man, is that they're not having no regards for their, their kings nor princes, man. And that's in the scriptures, man. That's plain as day in the scriptures, man. What the Lord said and that these things are going to happen, man. And this is, as I said, the... Um, this is only a, only a precursor, man, to what's, you know, what's really going to take place in uh, the rest of the rest of the the Americas, man, the north and central north and um, um central parts of America, man. You know, it's gonna get it's gonna get shitty out here, man. For Jake, two thirds of you niggas, you're gonna be put in a shit stew, and you're not gonna be able to get out of it, man, because you're not gonna have no one to save your ass, because you ain't gonna put your trust in the Lord. And, and your saviour, man. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Because you don't know them. You don't want to know them. Scriptures calls you impotent, man. Which means that you, you, you're you stiff neck. You know, you you harden your heart. You know, um, and you're rebellious, basically, man. You know, and you think you know it all, man. You're ignorant to the truth. So the Lord's going to leave you out there hanging to dry, man, when all this hell breaks loose, man. So second verse is 15 and 15. It says, For a sword and the destruction draweth nigh. It says, And one people shall stand up fight against another and swords in their hands. And you can see that situation now in Venezuela, man. Even though that's going to arise up into the other parts of Europe and the Americas, talking about the nations fighting against each other, the race riot seasons, that like Jacob v. Esau. But you can see Jake, Jake's government falling apart from the hinges in their own countries, man. You know, like Venezuela and all that, man. And other parts of the um, South Americas and all that, man. And central parts of America. It says... um. Uh, 
Yeah, swords in their hands, man. What's the modern day sword? The gun. You know? And they got they busting bare rubber bullets out down there in the Venezuela and all kinds of shit, man. People, you know, no regard for their neighbours and all that, man. This is verse 16. This is for there shall be sedition among men. This is an invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Like that situation with that 42-year-old, he got shot to death, man. He was a pol um, part of the government. He was a government official or whatever, and he got put out of his misery, man. So they ain't got no regard for their neighbours out there, man, nor their kings or princes. So these are the things that the Lord warned is going to happen, and it's happening, man. These scriptures are in living colour every day as we speak. You know, scriptures say that it's not it's not gonna tarry no more, man. Everything's hastening right now. You know, even though people are still lollygagging out there thinking nothing's gonna happen because they're far away from it. You wait and see, man. You know, hell's coming to a town near you very soon, man. World War Three is right around the corner. You know, all kinds of wars and rumors of wars going on, man. You know, all kinds of drills and all that around the four winds with these global superpower armies, man. So people think that they're, they're in a good state, but the scripture said, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, man. So these are, this is why it's got to stay diligent for the men of the Lord anyway. That's said, we've got to stay diligent, keep watching, man, watching as well as pray. You know, so these things are going to happen, man. It must needs happen if we want to make it out of this hellhole, man. Babylon the Great. It says, for there, there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. Because what people want food, people want a change of um, leadership and all that so called government powers and all that in their countries. You've got famine and pestilence running rife, you know, people committing cannibalism and all that down there in Brazil. All hell's breaking loose around the four winds, man. So, for all these lollygagging niggas out here that want to, you know, you know, take this truth for a joke. You're going to be sadly mistaken at the end of the day, man. And you're going to be part of those those people that are weeping and gnashing their teeth in the day of, day of um, Jacob's trouble, man. You know, and which is right around the corner. You know, right around the corner, man. This 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 truth ain't no joke, man. So, you know, got, brothers got to stay diligent, including myself, man. You know, but anyway, I'm going to close out. Give all praises to you, how Shem Yahashai. Double honest to the apostles, the elders, the great most, double brack of thumb to the elect. Run the four winds, man. Till next time, I'll see you